So this is the LG Optimus 3D. OMAP 4. OMAP 4. It runs on OMAP 4. Uh, it's the strongest mobile AP in the market right now. Uh, dual core, dual channel, dual memory. Imagine two factory with uh, two inventory uh, and a mesh of a supply chain uh, so that you can utilize the factory at 100%. It's a very efficient, power efficient performance. Right? Asynchronous, or how do you call that? Um, basically, uh, you have one gigahertz inside, right? Two one gigahertz Cortex A9 yeah. cores running. And then you also have a dual channel, dual memory, supplying the necessary information to the dual core. And that uh, it helps you increase the efficiency of the core. It's much more uh, faster than the Tegra 2. Memory. Gotta be honest, yes. But I'm, I'm just saying, like, um, uh, what is the memory bandwidth? in terms of uh, having... Can you connect this to an HDTV? Yes. Uh, actually, we have it showcasing over there. Yeah? Uh, it actually capturing capturing uh, in 3D and then videotape uh, previewing on the television right and now. So when you connect to the TV, it, you can connect a keyboard as well, USB host? Uh, Bluetooth keyboard maybe? That I haven't... Okay. I don't see any technical issue on that one. <laughs> but it's nothing high profile about it. So the, the thing is, it's 3D? Yes. Yeah. The thing is 3D, no, actually, there are two things about 3D. First, yeah, it's a super phone, dual core, dual channel, dual memory. That's yeah. just about, without the 3D, it's a very a super smartphone. On top of that, that enables a 3D feature, which is a 3D capturing, 3D recording, 3D viewing, and 3D sharing. And so this is an LG 3D screen. Yes, it is. It's a 4.3 inch 3D. 4.3 inch. No uh, glasses 3D. No glasses 3D. IPS, in-plane switching, which is uh, known to be one of the best 2D display itself. And then we have a 3D barrier on top of it, which converts it, a switch on and off the 3D mode. So it's a switchable. So when you switch it off, is it 100% as good as the other screens? 99%. 99%. 99%. What, what is the 1%? Because you have a transparent layer on top of it. Yeah. Uh, transparent layer on top of it uh, that, that uh, diminishes the... The viewing angles? Not the viewing angles. No. Just imagine on top of a screen you have additional thin layer of glass on top of it. That's it. Maybe that adds a little bit of weight yeah. and makes it a little thicker. That's that 1% that you're losing. But on the other side, you get another 200% of excitement. Dual core, dual lens, double the excitement. That's 3D. Can you actually, like, uh, if I'm on a desktop, can you do make it 3D, the desktop? Yeah, if you have a HDMI connection yeah. on, on your desktop, you can pump it out to, uh, on your monitor. Yeah. Uh, uh, it, it goes through the HDMI connection. But I mean, like, uh, right now, the screen here, the Android desktop. Can you switch it? What, what is the button oh, to switch? Oh, I see. You're talking about this one. So on this basic uh, yeah. desktop, we don't support 3D. Okay. However, uh, if you hit the 3D hotkey for one second, it goes yeah. into a 3D UI. It's Whoa. a dedicated 3D UI. It has a How many centimeters do you have to be uh, away from standing away? Uh, from a human eye, it's about five, uh, 30 to 40 centimeter. Yeah. You can still get this uh, nice animation. Uh, you got a 3D guide, and then game and app. And then you got YouTube in 3D, and then a uh, gallery, and then 3D camera. So you have to stand in the, uh, stay in the middle? Uh, for human eye, you have to stay away about 30 to 40 centimeters away. Exactly uh, like this. You cannot hold it up or down or on the side? Up and down is fine. Up and down is fine? You get a slightly less 3D effect, but up and yeah. down is fine. If you tilt it this yeah. much, you'll just see it in 2D. Which is which is perfectly fine. 2D is fine. Yeah, 2D is fine. If you see it in an angle, yeah. you're gonna see it in 2D. In the center, you're gonna see it in 2D. All right. And you have a dual camera. Can you take a picture of me in sure. 3D? Sure. Actually, for you, it's gonna be more exciting if you take a picture of me. Yeah. So we're in 3D mode right now. Yeah, I can see me coming out, jumping at me. This on up, like that. That's really cool. Of course, in the camera, it's not possible to see, but um, yeah. you get the eyes. The dual images. You need two eyes. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's that's what makes it so special. Dual camera. But it's not the same distance as a human eyes. This that, that distance between human eye thing yeah. is the largest mis misconception about the 3D ah, camera. No need for that. No, no, no. Two reasons why that is uh, completely wrong. First, uh, human eye can see almost 170 degrees on each side. Yeah. This one sees 55 degrees. So okay. if you separate it by 6.5 centimeter, you're gonna miss anything right in front of you. 
Okay. Second, human eyes can tilt in. You can pull in to see something close by. But this cannot. There's no actuator to actually turn it in. Okay. So that's why you need to pull it closer. Okay. That's the only way it can be done. Yes. That's the only way All right. it can be done. Alright. Uh, how heavy is this? Uh, slightly heavier than iPhone, I guess. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, you gotta try 4 .3, it. 4.3 uh, inch. How, how soon is it gonna be released? Uh, second quarter. This second year. quarter. With the OMAP 4, this is the only OMAP 4 phone ever re announced. Uh, I guess so. Yeah. No, but uh, the only one from LG. One from definitely from LG, and I'm not. I, I'm pretty sure it's also the first one in a smartphone area too. Awesome. All right. Is uh, super high end. Super high end. And uh, any TV that supports 3D will through no HDMI. No issue. Perfect. Hundred percent. But you don't get the 3D if you don't have a TV to support 3D. Or can you get 3D on any TV? No, uh, the With only a... way to do that is do anaglyph 3D, which is the, the, the red and red and blue glasses type. Yeah. Uh, there is a software to support that, but I wouldn't recommend that. Okay. It's not a very pleasant experience. All right. And uh, how? What is the frame rate in 3D? Is it 30 frames per second time two, or yes. uh, is no, it 15 frames per second? No, 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 no. no. 720p at 30 frames per second. 720p, okay. Yes. And it, you can record 1080p in, uh, in 2D. In 2D. Yes. All right. Cool.